What's up folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another problem to solve and today is all about this equation where we have a to the b is equal to b to the a and we need to figure out the value of the a and b and let's get into it. So we're going to take a different approach in this question and it's actually a very interesting way of solving this. So we're going to let our b be k times a. We're going to get into the detail of k at the end of this question that what k we can have in here to find the solution. So on the left side we have a to the power of b so a to the power of k times a and on the right side we have b which is k times a all to the power of a and here we're going to take this square root on each side and what we're going to get on the left side is a to the power of k times a is equal to k a to the power of a under the square root and here we know when we have the square root of x this will be equal to x to the power of 1 over 2 so we're going to use that in here and what we're going to have is that on the left side we basically have a to the power of k a all to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to k times a to the power of a and this will be all to the power of 1 over 2 and here we're going to use the laws of exponent that we have then when we have a to the power of m to the n this will be equal to a to the n to the m and both of them are equal to a to the power of m times n so what we're going to have in here is a to the power of k times a is equal to on the right side we have a times a all to the power we can multiply these two a times one half we can see that this exponent is the same we're going to write it down as a to the power of k all to the power of we can multiply a and one half so a over 2 is equal to k times a is equal to a over 2. now we have the same exponent we can have the base of each of these two equal to each other so a to the k is equal to k times a and if we divide each side of the equation by a we have a to the k over a is equal to k and we know 1 over x is equal to x to the power of minus 1 so this is the case in here we have 1 over a which is a to the k times a to the minus 1 is equal to k and we know when we have a to the m times a to the n this will be equal to a to the m plus n so here is our m and this is our n so that means a to the power of k minus 1 is equal to k so in here we're gonna do the power of 1 over k minus 1 in order to get rid of the k minus 1 so on the left side we have and on the right side we have k to the power of 1 over k minus 1 uh, based on the law that we covered previously you can multiply these two which it will be a and this will be equal to k to the power of 1 over k minus 1 so that's our a but remember what we call b was k times a so this is going to be basically k times k to the power of k minus 1 so if you want to find this we have k to the power of 1 plus 1 over k minus 1 and here we can do the common denominator for the exponent so our b will be k to the power of k minus 1 and in the numerator we have k minus 1 plus 1 this is going to give us k to the power of k over k minus 1 so looking at this we'll see that this is our a and this will be our b now here we can go with different case let's go with k is equal to 2 if we do that our a will be 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 which is 2 to the power of 1 or 2 and if we find b we have 2 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 1 which is 4 so that's our one set of answer for k so here if we want to verify our answer we have a to the b is equal to b to the a so 2 to the 4 is equal to 4 to the 2 and each of them are equal to 16 so this one works let's go with k is equal to 3 and if we do that our a will be 3 to the power of uh, 1 over 3 minus 1 which is 3 to the power of 1 half or the square root of 3 and our b in here will be 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 1 or 3 to the power of 3 half which can be written as 3 times the square root of 3. So here if we want to verify our answer we have the square root of 3 to the power of 3 square root of 3 is equal to 3 square root of 3 all to the power of square root of 3 
this one actually works too let me know if in the comments section if you guys know why these two values are equal to each other and looking at this there is one condition that we cannot find the answer and we have k minus 1 in the denominator here which means if our k is equal to 1 we have 1 over 0 so our denominator will be 0 which does not work so k cannot be 1 in this equation but yeah that, that's pretty much everything for this question if you got another method to solve this drop it in the comments so we can all learn and you guys take care i'll see you in the next time have a good one